Welcome once again to Channel Fish. Today we are going to talk direction, but we should not get confused when we use or when we refer to the direction of the wind. But before we get to wind direction, I'm going to explain to you how to apply, how to practically apply direction and how to uh, explain in which direction to travel and so on. On your screen you'll see this compass and all the different directions are included there. So if you haven't memorized it and if you haven't, if you haven't learned it, I've posted a video on how to understand and memorize all these uh, directions. So now we are going to apply it. Say for example, your teacher has given you a map and he or she says you find yourself in this location over here and there's another place and the, the other place is over here. So let's just say this is point A and that is point B. And your teacher wants, to t wants you to say in which direction is this place here or in, in which direction should you travel if you want to go from this point to point B. What I would do is I would draw my compass exactly on point A like that. Make sure the center is, is on the spot where you find yourself. And then we put north and south. There we have east and west. So here we can clearly see that B is to the east or you would travel in an easterly direction to get to point B. So I would say this is a very good method. Normally your teacher wouldn't allow you to use a pencil but but if you could draw it on a separate piece of paper just to remind yourself of the different directions. So let's look at the following world map and then we will once again determine the direction. Say for example you are in South Africa, this is where I am right now and you want to fly straight to Finland. So you go straight from South Africa to Finland. In which direction would you travel if you flew from South Africa to Finland? Once again, you can draw your compass and it will show you that you would travel to the north or in a northerly direction. Good. Let's do another example. Now you are in Finland and now you want to travel to Brazil or fly straight to Brazil. In which direction would you fly from Finland to Brazil? If you want to work it out yourself, pause the video and uh, try and figure it out. The direction in which we would fly is southwest or a southwesterly direction. So now that we've done two examples, I'm going to give you two more examples. I'm going to put the map on the screen and I'm going to indicate two different directions. I want you to tell me in the comment section below in which direction you would fly to these locations. So there's your map and the first example is from Canada to Namibia. Which direction would you fly? From Canada to Namibia. Your next example is from Ethiopia to Spain. So I'm not going to give you the answers. I want you to comment down below and tell me which direction you would be flying to these locations. Now we get to the next section and this is where we talk about the wind direction. Now this is different and, and you'll see what I mean if you ha don't have any information or if you don't know anything about this yet then you will soon find out that wind direction is completely different. So if we if there's a wind and it's blowing from this part of the world to this part of the world here we can see that the direction in which the wind is blowing is to the southeast. Do we call it the southeasterly wind? No, definitely not. So when we talk about wind, we swap the direction. It's exactly the opposite. This would be called a northwesterly wind or a northwest wind. Why? Because it comes from the northwest. What you should do to remember is that you should remind yourself that the wind comes from a certain direction and it brings along with it the elements or the characteristics of the place 
of its origin or where, where it comes from. My parents live in a lovely coastal town. It's a small town and the air is fresh. And when the, the wind blows over the ocean towards the land, then we can smell the, 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 the sea and it, it's, it's a very fresh smell. And so if this is the land here, if this is the coastline, and if this is where we live, and the wind is coming, here's the ocean. And if the wind is coming from this direction, from the south, we call it a, a south wind or a southerly wind. So on your screen you'll see the map and uh, we have a, a wind and it is blowing towards the southeast. Now we know that if, it, if it's the direction in which it blows, we don't call it according to that direction. We want to know where the wind is coming from. So it's blowing towards the southeast and we can see that it is coming from the northwest. So we call it a northwest wind or a northwesterly wind. Now we can look at another example. This wind here comes from the east. So if it blows from east to west, it's going towards the west. But we call it an east wind or an easterly wind. Let's look at another example. That wind there is blowing towards the southeast, uh, I mean the southwest. But do we call it a southwest wind or a southwesterly wind? No. We must find out where it comes from. And we can see that it comes from the northeast. So it is called a northeasterly wind. I'm going to give you two examples. Once again, I want you to comment down in the comment section below to show me that you understand this concept. So the wind you see on your screen, let's call it wind A. I want you to give me the wind direction and the next one is wind B. Please give me the direction of each of these winds. Thank you once again for watching. Something that is closely related to direction is bearings. And I've posted a video on how to measure a bearing. So click the links in the, in the description below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.